that worked. First thing that worked today, guys, was the record button. All right, gratitude, keep it going. Share gratitude, guys. I have gratitude to you for making this call, Michael, happen today. Mm. So mm. thank you. I read his book and it was really powerful. And I, I'm very excited. When I saw that email come through, I got very excited. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, Jennifer, I appreciate that. So you know what? Here's, guys, there's always learning opportunities in front of us. And here's another one. How many times could I have given up on this morning? Do you think that it didn't enter my mind? Exactly. Right? Reasons or results, what you focus on expands. You could either focus on the problem or focus on the solution. And focusing on the problem would have got us nowhere. The call never would have happened. Correct? And focus on the solution. I'll tell you something else that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the amazing work this group is doing. I don't know if you saw in my Facebook post yesterday. Uh, thank you, Ada. I've, I, I think I've got this figured out. I sent him a text message and an email. Uh, if you saw my Facebook post yesterday in reference to how many listings and how many contracts had been taken by the group that was on the call yesterday, and there's more people on today's call, so I know the number would even be greater. And over the last 30 days, I want to say it's 22 listings and 15 contracts from the group that was on yesterday's call. And there was about 45 people on the call yesterday, right? We have over 75 today, almost 80. So, Wow. Does training and coaching matter? Does going on a journey alone versus taking a journey with your tribe, which one is going to give you the opportunity to achieve greater success? No one succeeds alone. We all succeed at a higher level together. And if we didn't do anything but get together every day and talk for 30 minutes, I promise you this group would create momentum and it would create energy that would lead to better results. If you're learning something that you can implement into your business, then that's just a bonus. But the fact that we get together for 30 minutes every day and we share gratitude and we support one another, that alone is leading to massive results. Cheers to that. You got it, my hey, friend. John, John, Michael's online. John. Somebody let me know when Michael jumps on the call too, please. Michael's online now. Michael, talk to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up, brother? Oh, Michael, holy cow. Let me tell you about this morning. So my internet decided to die at 825. I live 2.2 miles from the office. So I called my good friend, Michael Topo, and I said, okay, Michael, you've got this. Take over. I'm driving to the office as quickly as I could get there. So I get here at about... 845 and this group was on fire without me without you and then I get a text message from you saying hey brother where the heck are you I've been sitting here for 20 minutes waiting for you because I evidently sent you the wrong link oh my gosh I'm so sorry and I've just got to give you huge props for hanging in there and staying committed to being on this call. You've got 80 people on the call who are committed to stay as long as you need. So we, you've got all the time that you had from the very beginning, and I'm just gonna turn it over to you. Um, please introduce yourself, that just for the maybe the one or two people on the call who don't know who you are. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna get my notebook and start taking notes. Everybody, Michael J. Mayer. Thank you. Well, first and foremost- oh, by the way, Happy yeah. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Happy birthday, birthday, boy. Happy right. birthday, Mark. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, everybody. Happy I birthday. appreciate, appreciate that. So first and foremost, it doesn't really matter who I am. Uh, it's it's uh, Let's jump right into the content. You know what I mean? So it's more going to be the value I provide than, than the who I am or was or what I've done. So, you know, what have you done for me lately? And we're going to jump right into that. If you if you do care to know more, there's there's plenty out there written. Uh, part of it you can tr trust and believe. So, all right. So here's the thing: it is you know, 
do you want the rest of this year to be a mess or do you want it to be a success? Success. And we want it to be a success, you know? And, and uh, you know, we, we've gone through all these emotions, right? We've, we've gone through uh, distress. We've gone through depress. We've gone through stress. We've gone through mess. We've gone through progress. We've gone through a process. And eventually, we get to success. And success is where we want to be. And success is the acronym I'm going to use today. So how do we take the last six months of the year and do the same amount of business in six months that we had planned on doing in a year? First of all, is it possible? The answer is yes. The second thing is, uh, are we going to need to break anything to make it happen? And the answer is yes. We're going to have to break some old habits and we're going to have to create some new habits. But I'm going to tell you right off the bat that success is not a 180 degree turn. Success is a one degree tweak. Success is a one degree tweak. You're going to have to make a tweak to basically do a year's worth of business in six months. A tweak, not an overhaul. You don't have to change everything you do, but you do have to change maybe one or two things that you do. Now, the S in success is for structure. Structure. And I'm telling you something that realtors typically rebel against structure. And the reason we're all realtors is because we uh, want to do our own thing at our own time. And the problem with that is, is that it leads to lack of discipline. It leads to un, uh, inconsistent results. So how do you get consistent results? And the answer is structure. You need structure. We need habits, rituals, and systems. We need structure. And, and what does the structure look like? It might just mean for you that you change your morning ritual. It might just mean for you that you change your nightly ritual, not overhaul, but a one degree tweak. It might mean for you that you change what you do first thing when you get into the office. Success leaves cues, C-U-E-S. You gotta realize that your environment will set you up for success or failure. Many of you, will go to the office and you have your ritual, which is getting coffee, getting water, talking to 22 people, and by that time it's time to leave, right? Now, that's not a good habit. So the opposite of that is start a good habit, which is as soon as you get to the office, the trigger of the door opening and then closing behind you is the list of five or 10 people that are on your desk and you call them that's the only tweak you make, and guess what? That tweak leads to you doubling your business. And yes, it is that easy. It is that easy. I'm also gonna to suggest to you that I have tapped into the power of perhaps the most powerful thing that humans do, and that is sleep. Can you believe that the lack of research, the lack of focus, that we put on something that we do a third of our life? Sit down, sit down. Did you know that you can tap into the power of sleep? The power of sleep. And I'm gonna tell you something, you need six to eight hours of sleep. Most people need six to eight hours of sleep. And you're talking well, like, you know, you're the Miracle Morning guy with Hal Elrod, right? Don't you, and, and now Hal's all about earlier earlier. I don't believe that the miracle morning is about waking up earlier. I believe the miracle morning is about waking up better. It's about having a ritual as soon as you wake up. Well, I've taught thousands and thousands of people on how to do their morning ritual, and we've helped them create their ultimate morning ritual. Here's what I've discovered. Your morning ritual starts the night before. Your week starts on Sunday night. So we have a Sunday night ritual and we have a nightly ritual. 
and the acronym is behind me, Sweet Dreams, on the Sunday night ritual, it's sweet. Uh, you know, I love acronyms. We're, we, this is like an acronym inside of an acronym. It doesn't get any better than that, right? So Sweet Dreams is the acronym for the Sunday night and the nightly ritual. Sunday night ritual, we're, Sunday night, and you can do this tonight. You can do this tonight. And it's like, well, it's Thursday morning. Yeah, you can do it tonight and just practice it. But here's what it looks like. I'm going to look at my schedule for the whole week. I'm going to look at the weather for the whole week. And trust me, you're in South Florida, you need to look at the weather. The E is you're gonna look at your eating plan for the week. What are you gonna eat for breakfast, morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, maybe even after dinner snack, right? I mean, whatever you choose to do, right? You're either in weight gain, weight loss or maintenance, right? So, especially after quarantine, boy, did that throw us off? I actually found out that COVID-19 actually is the 19 pounds that you gained during quarantine. I didn't know that. I mean, it's like I gained it, but I was like, what the heck? COVID-19 is like freshman 15, COVID-19. What I really don't need is another one. You know what I'm saying? So sweet, the eating plan. And then the second E in, in sweet is exercise plan. What is your exercise plan? And that can be something as simple as, I'm going to walk Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The fact of the matter is we need to move more and probably eat less. And, and so have an eating plan, have an exercise plan. Eating plan does come first because you can't outrun your fork. Trust me on that, right? So the T is tie it all together. And what I mean by that is tie it all together is we're going to put our outfits out for the entire week. So we're gonna choose what we're gonna wear each day based on the schedule and the weather and our exercise plan for that day. So if you look at my closet or you look at my son's banister on the stairs outside his room, you will see, uh, you will see for Max, you will see uh, sweats and a hoodie, you will see uh, shorts, uh, underwear, socks, t-shirt, you will see a baseball outfit because of baseball practice. You will see pajamas. And then you will see the next day he doesn't have baseball practice. So he'll be in shorts and t-shirt. And then he'll be uh, right back to shorts, t-shirt, hoodie, and sweatpants, socks. And then he's got his baseball outfit, which is full gear because he has to wear full gear on Wednesday. And then so on and so forth. So it's one of those where all the outfits – are laid out. Eddie W is for weather. W E A T H E R. We're going to look at the weather and trust me on that. Right. I mean, here's the thing, right? This works great for life. This works great for vacation. We did a vacation in Jamaica and you know how they have all the list of activities. Well, you have outdoor activities, you have indoor activities. I did a very quick time block for the week. I know you're like time blocking on vacation, really, but here's the thing. It was gonna be sunny on Tuesday and Thursday. It was gonna rain on Wednesday and Friday. Well, on Tuesday and Thursday, you know, people are slow to book things. So Sunday night, I'm booking Tuesday and Thursday, the jet skis, the boat trip, the fishing trip on Tuesday and Thursday. We did the indoor stuff and nothing on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We had a lot of nothing in our time block, just so you know, it was vacation, right? But here's what's funny. So it rained on Monday and the people had to cancel their jet ski trip. Tuesday, we're out there and everybody's trying to get into the jet ski. They can't because it's, it's sold out. So we're out there jet skiing, having a blast. We found a, a starfish this big, you know, swam to the bottom of the, of the ocean, all kinds of cool things. And then Wednesday, it rained again. The people that were so looking forward to their fishing trip, it got canceled. Thursday, in the morning, we do a boat trip, and I actually do parasail, which, just for the record, I don't recommend that. I, I don't. I really don't. Not in a foreign country. Maybe if you're at I literally was more worried about dying than I was enjoying the scenery. You know what I mean? So, but the afternoon, here's the kicker, right, is they had to cancel fishing trips all week except for Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday, we're out there fishing, and we catch 
the, this humongous uh, King, King mackerel, King, oh my God, it was, it was huge, right? And we, yeah, I think it was a King mackerel. And then we also got, get this, a swordfish. We got a swordfish that, and he's like, we haven't caught a swordfish all week long. Well, here's the thing, right? Is because I took a little time on Sunday to just look at the weather and look at the schedule, which they had already set, we maximized our vacation and made it the best experience ever. Guess what? Why don't we do that every week with our life? Mm. Why don't we look at the schedule, look at the weather and align it appropriately? The dreams, just real quickly on the nightly ritual, is at each night you want to dim time, which you need to go to bed at the same time. If I have two suggestions to you to maximize your sleep, it would be go to bed at the same time each night. And number two is try to go a degree cooler every night, or I'm sorry, every week. So if you're a 70 degree room, try to go to 69 for the next week. See what happens. And then the week after that, try to go to 68. The cooler your room, the more you tap into the beta, theta, and delta waves in your brain. So the colder it is, I know, the men are all like, yay. The women are like, what the, are you kidding? I get it. Well, anyway, some are the opposite, right? So my wife is like, what are you talking about 68? You know, I'm like, we're going to 66, baby. So anyway, um, so then read. And then the E is evaluate, evaluate your day, rate your day. And I, you know, I have a series of questions for evaluation. And then A is for affirm. I have a bedtime affirmation that I wrote when I was working with Hal Elrod. And this bedtime affirmation has been calibrated. It's got NLP. It's got all these things to self-hypnotize to a positive, more uh, productive outlook. And then the M is for meditate. And then the S is for sleep. And that's your nightly ritual. Now, that's one form of structure. But I'm going to tell you something as we go forward. Watch this. The you of success is take care of you. First, love yourself. You, take care of you. A, an example of this is that, um, so you use stuff. You use deodorant. You use shampoo, hopefully, right? You use uh, Q-tips, you use toilet paper, you use paper towels, paper plates. Buy six months at a time. Like right now, buy enough of all of those for the rest of the year. Just buy enough. Deodorant, literally make a list of, if you take Allegra allergy pills or whatever, buy enough for the rest of the year. If you take vitamins, buy enough for the rest of the year. Like do all of that at once. Yeah, your, your storage is gonna get a little stuffed, but here's the thing. Imagine the amount of time you're not gonna stress about not having it, or you're sitting there and your deodorant's right there at the very end, and you're like, oh crap, I need to go get de deodorant. Oh crap, I need to get, and then you live two or three days without deodorant. It's just not good. You know, that just stinks. I mean, really. <laughs> so, so that's the thing under you. The other thing too is, is you know what, move more you know, eat less, uh, be happier, don't worry, less frustrated, that kind of thing. But the number one thing that you can do to take care of you is sleep better, truly. Now, by the way, we still have 75 of you on. I haven't lost anybody. That's awesome. crazy. That's like awesome. somebody just log off just to make me feel better that I'm making somebody at least mad, you know? So <laughs> the C, the first C of success, this is the big one, is clarity. Clarity. Clarity is power. Clarity is power. So what does that look like? Here's four questions to ask yourself around clarity. Number one, where, uh, what is my biggest challenge right now? What is my biggest challenge right now? And the second one goes with it is what is my biggest frustration or worry right now? And if you want to put fear in there, do it. Number one, what is your biggest challenge right now? Number two, what is your biggest fear, frustration, or worry right now? And you know what? It's like everybody talking about don't have fears. It's a, no, fear has a new acronym for all of you. For everyone, a reality. Fear is a reality for everyone. Now, we can also say, you know, face everything and rise, you know. But the thing is, is, is for everyone, a reality. Fear is a reality. So 
here's the thing. You can coop it up and you can fight the monkey and you can, you can do all this different stuff. But the truth is what you need to do is you need to release that thought to the world. So write it down. What is your biggest worry, frustration, or concern, uh, or fear? And then the next one is, where do I have momentum? And I have to tell you, momentum matters. Momentum matters more than anything. Sometimes we bang our head in all these areas that we don't have momentum, while over here, we have momentum in a relationship with a lead, with a potential client, with a relationship, with a uh, uh, renovation, with a room, with a, with, with a habit, we have momentum. Where do we have momentum? And then the other one is, what is the one thing such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier and or unnecessary? And usually that's gonna be health, truly, right? And then you think about your business. What is the one thing such that by doing it in my business, everything in my business becomes easier and or unnecessary? And many times that's generosity generation or what you guys might call lead generation. I'm a fan of generosity generation. I wanna generate generosity. I wanna to call to help. I wanna call in the spirit of generosity. Now, the other things on you is take care of you. Just take care of you, right? And then the C is clarity. The next C is communicate more. Communicate. Do you have a communication plan for your best people in your database do you have a communication plan like maybe it's just like you know what take your top 100 people and call them once a month for the rest of the year that's a communication plan you just did it and if you're going to say yeah i'm going to email everybody in my database each month what not all touches are equal baby come on now that's a seven levels of communication right you guys should all carry this around like everywhere with you you should carry around People are gonna go, what's that? I go, that's how I get referrals. You wanna know more about it? But here's the thing, right? Like this thing, this is, this, is, this is communication. Seven levels of communication. So I'll tell you what, if you're just emailing, you're probably chasing more people away than you are attracting. So communicate more and better. The E, and this is a big one, and I am telling you that this is something I am harping on and doing more research on every day. And that is the E, I'm gonna tell you in a second what it is. Listen, you think that money is a precious resource. It's not. Money is like the ocean. There's an infinite amount of money out there. The problem is most people go to the ocean with a thimble. You need to go to the ocean with a bucket loader. Like there's so much money out there, all you gotta do is open your arms for it. But the problem is you're so, clinging so tight to the sand that it's falling through your hands. You can't clutch tight water, right? What can you do with water? You create a vessel. You create a vessel to hold the water. Create a bigger vessel and you'll have more money. So here's the thing, time. People say time is the most precious asset. No, nope. time, you got plenty of time. Everybody's got the same amount of time. You got billionaires with time. You got Amazon's a trillion dollar company got the same time we do. Here's the other thing. People say relationships is the most precious asset. I'm the relationships guy, you know? And it's like, no, relationships are not the most precious asset. Is that crazy or what? Do you guys want to know what the most precious asset is? I'm not going to tell you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the most precious asset in the world is energy. The world is energy. You our energy. Your environment is energy. Your relationships are energy. Your time is energy. And you know what? Money is called currency. You know what else runs in currents? Energy. It's all energy. All roads lead to energy. There are things that feed you energy. There are people who feed you energy. Remember the weightlifter effect. The weightlifter effect is this. There are some people who are weights and there are some people who are lifters. The weights are the ones who drag you down. They're anchors, you're dragging them along with you. They're just these old tired relationships and they just keep holding you back. 
And guess what? The weights can wait. I'm not saying you need to do this big giant TV uh, show ending to the relationship, right? I hate you. You're gone. Frustrated. You're, you're out of my lot. You know, you don't need it. Just, you know what? Ghost them. Ghost them. Just ghost them. Ghost the weights and you'll feel better. Here's the other thing. Is on the flip side is the lifter. John Dietz is a lifter. Lifters lift you up. Lifters support you. When you are with them, you feel better. There are certain people in the room, when they walk in the room, they light it up. There are others who can light up a room simply by leaving. I'm telling you right now <laughs> that you need to make the lifters lifers. They give you energy. There are things that you do in your life that will definitely, that are toxic. Like to me, I have to tell you, paperwork is toxic to me. I hate paperwork. So well, you know what I did? I got somebody else to do it. Somebody better than me. Somebody who actually loves paperwork. Think about that for a second. Who the freak loves paperwork? That's like so weird. And yet <laughs> there are weird people out there. And I will tell you, I don't like a lot of things. And I've learned, I don't like mowing the lawn at all. I hate it. And you know what? My wife doesn't like it either. So guess what we did? We hired somebody to mow our lawn, you know? So it's like, there are things that you don't like. Don't do them. Don't do them. Right? There are things that you love to do. Do more of them and find out a way to make those lead generators. Like right? you love to go to the gym right? Sponsor a workout party, do something, right? Mm -hmm. Try to figure out where's the opportunity that associates with what you love. I'm serious. You tap into your energy, you'll triple your business in the last six months. You tap it, like just get a, get a feel for your vibe. Like what is the vibe? Am I in the flow? Am I in the zone? I'm telling you something. I wrote a 315 page nightly journal this week, 315 pages for sweet dreams. It's the greatest nightly journal in the history of the world. Of course I'm biased. I wrote it. I, I have to tell you there's like 40 years of research in this thing. 300. Now here's the thing. I will cut that down. It'll be around 200 pages when it's finished. But the thing is, is like how that I was in the flow. I was in the zone. All I was working on was Sweet Dreams Nightly Journal. That's it. Everything else was a distraction. So energy. And then the S is serve. The second to last S in success is serve. Serve more to sell more. Don't try to sell more by selling more. Oh, my God. Did he just say that? Is this? What? Oh my God. Yes, I did. Because here's the thing. If you want more, you have to deserve more. Would you agree with that? Before you can have more, you have to deserve more. You know how to deserve more? Deserve, it's right in the word. Thank God. Deserve, if you break it down to its Latin root, is day, which many of you know is of, and then serve is service. Be of service. So guess what? The secret to getting more, to deserving more, is serving more. Serve to deserve. And you know what happens when you help, help, help? When somebody tries to help you, you say yes, because you know you've helped so many. When we get into this, no, I don't need any help, is because you don't think you deserved it. And here's the truth. You do deserve it. Help, help, help. What if I told you the secret to how the universe would conspire for your success? I can give you that secret. The universe will conspire to your success if you are always in generosity. Because here's the thing, if you're always giving and you're always giving, what happens is the power of reciprocity kicks in. And I will tell you the power of reciprocity is it's going to come back. In some cases, it'll come back tenfold. But the thing is, is if you're not in generosity, then you're just in this neutral. Like there's no, it's like a reservoir. 
right? What we want is a river. And so what we want to do is why is a river more powerful than a reservoir? Because it has some barriers. We need to give, give, be a proactive. Who are you going to give to today? And here's the thing. It doesn't take money. It just takes generosity, which means a nice word, praise, talk about someone, refer someone, connect someone. Uh, the bottom line is you can just spend some time with someone. You can uh, teach someone something that you learned here today. There's so many things that you can do that don't cost you any money. You don't have to give money to be generous. In fact, I would say if you're giving money to be generous, then you're probably substituting money for time. Mm. And it's the way it is. I do that sometimes. So the last S, the last S is strategy. You can change your life by changing your strategy. It's so funny. I was in the green room with a guy named Tony Robbins. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Tony Robbins. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Michael Mayer, right? I, I just love it when Michael Mayer and Tony Robbins are the same sentence. So here's the thing is I'm in the green room with Tony Robbins. There's three ways you can change your life. Number one is you can change your story. So if you have a story, this is, goes to success leaves cues. See, not success leaves clues, but su success does leave clues, right? Study successful people and you'll see why they were successful. Rituals is a big part of why successful people are successful. They have different rituals than the people who don't, uh, don't succeed. So here's the thing. So story, you can change your story. Like one thing is when you have a big win or you need to celebrate, do you celebrate with alcohol? Do you celebrate with fatty food, right? And the thing is, is, is sometimes you do. And that was my problem for years. And guess what? I learned that you can celebrate with friends without alcohol, without cake, without, I, we don't have cake. I will not have cake for my birthday. You're like, oh, that's sad. No, that's healthy. Think about that, right? Why do we have cake for birthday? Why? It's, it's you know what? It's what's always been done. So, and you're like, well, kids can have cake. Yeah, what are we teaching them? So anyway, that's, that's a, woo, that's a whole nother day. So here's the thing. I'm sitting there in a the room and then he goes, all right, story. And then state, right? And we're talking about change your state, change your life. Now I have to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in that you change your energy, you change your state. If you're setting, stand up. If you're, sta if you're standing, take a walk. If you're walking, take a run. If, but here's the other thing is, is, is you can change your state of mind in a matter of seconds. I'm going to make this call to get business. No, you're going to call to see how you can help. You're going to call in the spirit of generosity. Boom. That is a one degree tweak change. You made it in a nanosecond. And guess what? Changing your state will change the result of that call. So he's, take, he's like, all right, state. And then it's like the other way you can change your life is by changing your strategy. And, and so he's, he, he's Tony Robbins. He's like six, he's six fifteen, right? He's six foot 15, whatever that is. I mean, he's like, huge. you know, he puts his hand up and blocks the whole screen. You know, it's like, is it shaded in here? No, that's just me putting my hand on the window. But here's the thing is I said, all right, I understand that you think state is the way to change people's life. I get it. And I go, I think it might be something different. Now, if I wanted to change my state, how would I go about that? He goes, all right, first thing you need to do is you need to stand up. Okay, so I stood up. The second thing you need to do is you need to put your hands in fists and you need to put them at your side. Okay. And then, all right, what's the third? He goes, third thing, you need to stand there for two minutes. It's been proven in research that if you will stand there in the superhero pose for two minutes, it will raise your immune system. It will raise your energy. It will, it will help you change your state. And I go, Tony, that's awesome. Are you telling me that you just gave me a strategy to change my state. And he goes, Ooh, that's good. And I go, I believe that the strategy comes first. I think the strategy comes first, the strategy to change your state, the strategy to change your story, the strategy to change your life. And you're going to notice that success begins with structure and it ends with strategy. And I'm telling you right now that you need, to change, you need to have a strategy that's going to change your structure. Time block, rituals, habits, 
They're the key. What if it, otherwise, if you don't do anything differently, you're going to get the same results, right? Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So here's, here's what I'd like to do for you. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to sign up for sweet dreams. I am actually teaching with Tara Carter and Polly Dominich starting Monday. I'm sorry, starting Sunday. I am teaching Sweet Dreams the class with Tara and Polly. I'm going to go through the Sunday night ritual with you on Sunday, literally going through it with you. And then we're going to do an abbreviated nightly ritual. And then we're going to do a nightly ritual together all the way through Thursday. Then on Sunday, we're going to meet again. We're going to go through the Sunday night ritual, go through the nightly ritual. We're going to do that through Thursday. Friday and Saturday night, you can stay up as late as you want, right? So we're going to do this for 30 days. You get my daily coaching for 30 days. Now, Tara and Polly are also very heavily involved because they do. Tara does a great Sunday night ritual. Polly does a great nightly ritual that are kind of flexes on what I teach, and I love them. So, uh, so here's the thing. 30 days of coaching, and here's the thing. It's not 497 for the month or 297 for the month guys it's $99 it's yeah that you heard that right it's $99 why do we do that we're coming out of the quarantine we're coming out of the the stay at home orders but i'm telling you right now you go to this and you go to the, you do 30 days with me it's going to change your life it's it, 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 now sweet dreams is big when you're done you may not have it all implemented. The thing I want you to know, it doesn't matter because if you have one, two or three little things implemented, it will change your life. I'm telling you, just the Sunday night ritual has changed the life of our household. You know, getting Max involved with it has been a blessing. And I mean, kids, they're 10 and 11 years old. How do they get dressed? What, I mean, it's like, what do they normally do, right? They come out and they've got pink shorts on, a camouflage, you know, and a, you know, green hat. So it's one of those where it's like, guess what? He's lays it out. It's all, but he's also learning a skill. He's also learning to, to plan for the week. The number one thing that you're going to feel when you do sweet dreams is you're going to feel so ahead and you're going to sleep so well. Uh, it's 30 evenings.com is the way to register, but that's the site for you today. Three zero evenings, 30, e can you change your life in 30 evenings? Yes. Can you achieve your dreams in 30 days? The answer is yes. Listen, I'm, is there a charge for it? The answer is yes. Am I here to sell something? No way. If I was going to sell it, I'd sell it for a thousand bucks or more. I, here's the thing. Why do I charge you? Why don't I just give it for free? Aren't you part of the generosity generation, Michael? Yeah, I'm the freaking leader and founder of it. But here's the thing, what I've discovered. When you give stuff away for free, nobody appreciates it. So guess what? You know what $99 is going to do? It's going to get you to show up. And if you show up, you'll grow up. And if you grow up, I know that you'll go up. And that's what we all really want in life is we want to go up. That's all I got, John. That's all I got, JD. I've given it to all she got. Michael, that was amazing. Wow. You, you never disappoint. My friend, I am so honored. So what's the opposite of that? If I never disappoint, can you give me a compliment, please? I, I mean, it's like I never disappoint. Like, that's like a double negative, right? That doesn't make it a positive, right? You're right. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. I'm You're fishing right. for a compliment here, right? You're right. <laughs> he, he always doesn't disappoint. Right. Thank you, Scott. I, 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 I will give, Michael. Michael J. Mutt, I will give you a baseball appropriate compliment oh, oh, you, bring you it, bring yes it, bring yes it. yes you always knock it out of the park that's what i'm talking about yes Woo. if i if i am that, the coach that, you that, are my that. you are my cleanup hitter yes you are the babe ruth of real estate hey hey don't call me fat Oh, <laughs> just, oh, that quarantine, man, that COVID-19. John Deitch said COVID-19, that means I'm walking 19 miles a week.
That's Woo! the night. Good job on your walks, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience today. Thank you, everybody who is on the call. Uh, wow, 75 people on this call today, Michael. And everything that could have gone right, well, never mind. It, it was fascinating <laughs> to use Woo! a bold term, and we delivered. I am proud you know of what? you. You found out who really? I'm sorry. Have, oh, 